According to the World Health Organization, WHO, maternal mortality in Nigeria remains one of the highest globally as it accounts for 12% of global maternal stillbirths and neonatal deaths. Medical practitioner Olajumo Caxton Martins says continued sensitization of pregnant women in undeserved communities is critical to reduce maternal mortality. Caxton Martin said this during a free maternal health outreach held in celebration of the 37th anniversary of Tolu Medical Center. Caxton Martins notes that the education and empowerment of pregnant women in undeserved communities would reduce deaths from pe pregnancy complications and their dependence on unskilled traditional bed attendance TBA. Similarly, Dr. Bayomi Ayang Koso, medical director of Tolu Medical Center, Ojo, urged the federal government to stabilize the economy. Ayang Koso said a robust economy that's self-sustainable will impact the lives of citizens and the health sector. Um, the work of curbing teenage pregnancy is the work of everybody. If we keep them in schools, if we keep them educated, we keep their morals up, we'll be able to curb it. But for us, we come in when they're already pregnant. Teenagers tend to lose their lives because their bodies are not prepared for pregnancy. So being able to educate them, being able to intervene, being able to give them the right type of health care is the best way to protect these women. No matter what happens, even after their babies, they can pick up their education and still be important people in society. So our part is to help them stay focused, help them stay healthy, help them stay alive. The major issue here is still the economy. If things are cheaper, medical equipment, medical, I mean, medical personnel, if they are well taken care of, definitely the collaboration between the government hospitals and private, and private hospitals. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.